All right, we are back from the little break. Um, I got my let my stamping letters from UPS. These are the letters that I'm going to stamp my silver with, uh, as to the weight of it and so forth and so on. So this is uh, these are small, which is that's what I wanted. And I'm going to have to make some kind of a container to hold them because these are all jumbled up in here. Uh, something that I can have them in order. And that'll be easy enough. I can drill holes in a board and stick them in there. Alright, back to the history lesson. So, they blew JFK's head off. JFK stood in the way of the deep state in a big way. He vowed that he was going to start printing money again. He was going to print United States money backed by gold. Well, at that time, the Federal Reserve was doing it illegally, by the way. That was a no-no. He had to die for that. He didn't want to get us into endless wars. He had to die for that. Um, he, was a, uh, he was an honest man uh, who believed in the American way. Uh, and a Democrat. See, back then, in the 60s, practically everybody in the South was a Democrat. Of course, I didn't vote then, but the Democratic Party was firmly entrenched in the South. Somewhere along in the 70s and 80s, and all people started abandoning ship because they began to see that the, the Democratic Party was, was not... Um, for America. They were doing things that people didn't like. All right. Up to the present. Here comes Donald Trump in 2016. Runs for president. By the way, he was recruited by the White Hats. Donald Trump was recruited essentially to play a role. See, Donald Trump, besides being a millionaire, he's also an actor. A, a good actor. And Donald Trump played the part of, um, what's that show he was in? I didn't watch it very much. Um, the one where he fired everybody. Fired people. Put, got a bunch of people in there, let, gave them an assignment. Very popular show. But Donald Trump is an actor. And he also was a patriot. They knew what he stood for. And so basically, he was hired for the job. It's my opinion came in there and did what needed to be done. Make America great. Did a great job. The people loved Donald Trump. But he was at the same time trying to arrest the deep state. Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton, almost all of the Democratic Party, quite a few of the Republican Party. There were things going on behind the scenes that you just wouldn't believe. You would believe it if you've been keeping up, like I have. But let's get this down to what's happening today. Found cocaine in the White House the other day, apparently belonged to uh, Hunter. Joe Biden has now been caught red-handed taking bribes from foreign government. This thing is building very fast. In the next few months, you're going to see it come down essentially to a storm. And this is the storm that Donald Trump was talking about back the first year when he was president, surrounded by all the military high brass, and he said, the storm is coming. And you go back and look at that, that tape. And the reporters kind of ignored him and started looking, asking other questions, and he repeated it. He repeated it until somebody said, what storm, Mr. President? And he said, you'll find out. We're finding out now. This is the storm that's been promised since back then. Many, many indictments and sealed indictments. See, Trump had access to all of the intelligence when he was president. It just so happened he was an honest man. He went there and found out who the crooks were they got him indicted. Now they have tightened their own noose. And this thing, this storm, 
is fixing to break loose. Now I've kept my mouth shut about this on all my other videos because although I felt quite sure that this was going to happen, I felt like I shouldn't get out there and act like I knew something and I still don't know it for sure. But I got a little bit of probably sawdust in my eye. This thing here will do that. The storm has arrived you're going to see a really bad storm. Now the, the bad part about it is that when you're about to grab a, a criminal and they, there are many of them, they go berserk. And that's what they're going to be doing now. They're going to make many false flag events. That would be school shootings, mall shootings, assassination attempts, riots, uh, trains falling off the track with chemicals, all of these things. Meat processing plants burning up. They want chaos. They figure that if they can get enough chaos, they'll have a chance for the people to say, oh, we want, the, we want them to get back in power. Don't think it's going to happen this time. I believe that certain executive orders have been put in place already. We are hoping, we are praying that this is going to be the truth. And um, the Christians and the good non-Christians out there love our country. America is a special place. There's never been anything like America. I believe God did give the country to us. I don't want to lose it. I love this country. I grew up in it since 1951. And I know the old days and I know what's going on now. So I am going to step out of my normal role and say a prayer for the country. And it's going to just be heartfelt, and I'm going to ask God, Heavenly Father, don't let us lose our country. There are millions and millions of people who love you that are not wanting to lose our country and have us become slaves. Will you please make this happen? Will you give us the strength to repent and act like we should as Christians, which we haven't, by the way. We want our country and we love our country. Don't let them take it away at this time, or any time, as a matter of fact. We pray in the name of Yeshua Jesus. Let's don't have our country taken away. Amen. All right, that's all I'm going to say today. I'll be working here with my... Uh, my mold here and we'll be doing some more silver smithing and uh, if what I said doesn't come true I'm not right about everything I don't know how much of it is hope and how much of it is real Donald Trump I believe is going to come back to power I'm not really totally sure if he ever left power you know there this this rabbit hole goes pretty deep and there's no way I can explain it to people that don't that aren't up on it. All I can do is hope and pray that they will get up on it. More and more people are beginning to wake up. Alright, this is Gardener Israel signing off.